We do have a side stripe jackal, but unfortunately it's not the happy sighting that I really wanted. This, you can see this, this poor fella does not look in the greatest condition. It's very mangy and itchy. It keeps shaking, it keeps rolling around in the grass and it keeps scratching itself. It's not in the greatest condition. It actually looks quite thin too, which is a bit of a shame. Unfortunately, mange is a terrible killer. We've seen it quite a bit when it turns into psychoptic mange like it did with the Styx cubs. There's very, very little chance that you're going to come back from something like that. Now, this jackal shouldn't have mange at this time of the year. So to me, that says that there must be another underlying problem. It must be sick. I'm not sure what type of illness it might have, um, but mange is typically related to and sort of um, when the immune system of an animal um, weakens, it'll it'll come in and start to take over. So there's something else that's wrong with it too, but I'm not sure. There's also a lot of birds alarming. They've just started alarming now for the jackal, but I've been listening to them alarm right in front of the lodge. So we will go down there and have a check too. But you can see, look at it, it's lost quite a bit of hair on its tail. It is very, very itchy. Now I know it's so terrible, and of course I'd want to go out there and bathe it in F10. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. We do let nature take its course out here and not everything is meant to survive. Only the strongest and the fittest genes will make it through. And unfortunately, the rest will succumb to being eaten or to diseases and things like that, which is a tough life. It's like I always say, nature is not kind. It is quite cruel. Now, Stevie, you're wondering if this will spread to other jackals. It might, if it does have any other social interactions. It can indeed. So what mange actually is, is it's a mite that gets into the hair follicles and feeds on the hair follicles. That's why you start to see the hair, hair disappearing and then you see the scabby skin that comes after that. So they will scratch and itch, roll around in the grass and do all those things. And um, so yes, it can, be, it can be contagious, but hopefully it doesn't you know, sort of have too much other interactions with any other jackals, because you'd hate for them to pass it on. But mange is also a really easy thing to beat. Um, if you are fit and strong, you know, you might get played by it slightly, um, but, but you ca can get rid of it naturally all on its own. We saw that with the Nguhuma cubs. They're a perfect example. They had it in conjunction with a white muscle disease, uh, which is a lack of selenium and uh, a couple of other uh, minerals and vitamins too. And then the mange normally comes in after something like that too. But very, very sad though. That's just sitting off, very itchy, very scratchy. P heart, you're wondering if, I, if I'm sure that I don't think that it's very old. It could be a combination. So maybe it's an old jackal, but it doesn't look healthy. The fact that it's lost the hair on its tail, uh, that says to me that there's definitely a skin condition. Uh, and, and if you saw it when it was standing up, it looked, it looked a little bit wobbly as well. And its legs are starting to get quite patchy and quite scabby. So maybe it is just an old jackal and mange is going to be the thing that takes it down if it's not going to be malnourishment because, like I said, it does look quite underweight as well. So yeah, so it could quite be, but I, it's so difficult to tell. Uh, the side strike jackals are quite sort of grey in colour, so they almost look like they're old even when they're quite young. They do, they're, old, they're like the old man jackal, the, the black back jackals um, or with their coloration don't seem to have that look about, upon them, but very sad though. But jackal, I'm sure you're making the best of what you have, but let's not dwell on the sad situation for too much longer, let's let this poor fella scratch in peace, let's go see what else we can find.